First off, let me say hello and thank you for listening. We are going to discuss the Shortel Mobility Platform. This is a presentation that we give at the ComSolutions BYOD 2.0 Roadshow. So basically what we are finding is that the mobile worker has been completely redefined. It, it used to be that the mobile worker was our road warriors, our outside sales force, um, our executives, you know, our basic globe trotters, the people that did all of the travel for the enterprise network. What we're finding now is that the mobile worker really is, is anybody in our enterprise that mm -hmm. has a mobile phone um, and connected applications to the enterprise network. It's, it's all of our employees, it's all of the people um, on our network, because the smartphone proliferation has just ex excelled. What we're finding out is that more and more people are working mobile. They're, they're responding to emails, they're handling communications when they're you know maybe outside on a lunch break or away from the office or away from their desk. 95% um, of our mobile workers have smartphones. They've got smartphone devices or uh, most of them even have tablets. And they want to choose that device. Uh, you know, that in essence is what brings in the BYOD thing to this. They want to bring their own smartphone device. You know, you're going to have end users out there that have uh, Android phones or iOS, uh, Apple iOS devices. Um, as well as maybe some Windows mobile devices you may see. So what exactly is mobile unified communications? Basically, it's, it's us extending the communication applications that our end users had at their desktop and taking all of those communication capabilities, be it um, instant messaging, presence, uh, corporate directory on their phone at their desktop, the ability for conference calling, taking all of those capabilities, transferring calls to internal extensions or external numbers, and taking all those capabilities and putting them on their, their mobile device so that they have those capabilities from anywhere and on any network, no matter where they're at. So what are some of the deployment considerations with a, a mobility platform? Um, you know, break it down into three things. The management from the IT department, the, the, the CXO and, and you know, upper, upper management, and my end users. And basically what we've found is that in the IT department, they're looking for something that is a multi-vendor platform. They don't want to have to worry about having something for the Android devices, something for the BlackBerry devices, and then a whole other solution for their Apple devices. They want something that's going to handle all of those platforms um, in one device, in, in, in one solution. It needs to be centrally controlled, and of course it needs to have uh, security on there. Um, as well as, you know, if it could be easy to manage, that would be great. We have enough complexity um, in the wireless environment and in other environments on our network that extending these applications out to the end user, we need this to be easy. The CXO group, basically, they're looking for uh, cost savings and mm -hmm you know, lower cost of ownership. Can this solution perhaps pay for itself? Can it increase my user productivity and have a return on investment? And as far as our end users are concerned, they want it to be easy. They don't want to have to learn something new uh, and they want it to work on their device that they choose to bring in. You know, if I have an Android phone and bring it in, I want the same capabilities that you're given to the iOS, the, the iPhone user, um, as well as to the BlackBerry user. I don't want to have to be tied down to one specific type of device um, based on my company's uh, mobile solution. So what are some of the core mobility challenges that we need to meet? Mobile cost reduction um, is, is a big one, and we're going to talk about that on the next slide. Um, increased productivity. Basically, what we're saying here is if users are easy to reach and, and more responsive, because I know at any point in time, perhaps by looking at presence, that they're, they're available for a call or not available for a call, um, you know, I believe that I can increase productivity by getting to the person I need to speak to a lot faster. Um, poor in building coverage, this is a pretty big one. This is the ability for you to leverage your existing Wi-Fi network uh, to provide a low-cost coverage solution for cellular phones. 
So, you know, a lot of people with cellular coverage issues inside their um, buildings, they're installing what are called DAS systems, distributed antenna systems from individual providers. So if I have Verizon phones, I've got an antenna on the roof and, and uh, you know, little internal uh, antennas that extend that Verizon signal down through my building. And if I've got, you know, AT&T users, I need another solution for those. So, you know, this solution allows us to address that poor in-building cellular coverage by utilizing our Wi-Fi network. So what are some of the ways that we can reduce cellular charges? Well, we're going to do VoIP over Wi-Fi. Basically, we're going to use your internal Wi-Fi network and route those calls as VoIP calls through your internal PBX system over low-cost PRI circuits. In essence, eliminating the need for cellular minutes um, or, you know, at least lowering the amount of cellular minutes that you may need on uh, corporate-issued um, cellular devices. Uh, international roaming charges uh, are huge. I mean, you if you have international offices and international travelers, you know, when they, when they go across seas that those cellular toll rates um, are huge. So what if we could route those calls over a uh, Wi-Fi connection through the corporate PBX, leverage toll bypass based on having presences in our corporate network at different offices throughout the, throughout the um, different countries. Um, or we can even get a cellular data plan and use that cellular data plan to do uh, VoIP calls rather than the high cost cellular minutes.